Hello and welcome our new Saturday night show. I am Kim, and I will be presenting this show to you. Today, we will start off with an economic topic. This would be, how do the factors of production change price? Well, to be able to explain this to you, I will have to catch you up on a few topics. Let me start with supply and quantity supply. Supply is when a company is providing a product. Quantity supply is when a company is willing and able to provide certain amounts of a product to consumers. Let us continue with the factors of production. There are three different types of factors of production. One of these is land. This refers to natural resources, for example trees growing wildly. Another is labor. As you may imagine, this refers to workers that are being employed. Finally we have capital. Capital brings together all man-made resources. To wrap up our review, I will inform you about market price, price, consumers and firms. Let us start with firms. A firm is an organization such as law firm. Consumers are the people that are in the market for a product, meaning willing and able to buy a product. Even though I am sure that all of you know what price is, I will still give you an exact definition. Price is the amount of money or goods, asked for in exchange for something else. Finally, market price is the current price at which a good can be bought in its existing market. Half that was a lot of information for this short period of time. Well let us now get back to our original topic, how do the factors of production change price? Let me give you guys a scenario. Please look at the first cost chart. Company X is going to make and sell French crepe. The cost, which is the amount of money it takes to make the good, is $350 to make 100 crepe. Now you are probably asking yourself, what the difference between variable cost and set variable cost is. Well let me tell you. Variable cost varies for each individual product, because the prices of goods needed to make this product might vary. Set variable cost on the other hand is a cost that stays the same, for example electricity paid. The price does not change because the consumer pays his bill at the beginning of the year. Let us look at the second chart. Imagine that the price for milk rises from $50 to $60. This means that the total cost rises by $10. Also, both the cost of production for one crepe and the final price for one crepe rose by 10 cents. This shows us that if the factors of production become more expensive, the price of the good produced will also have to become more expensive. This is because the company providing the good to consumers will still want to make the same amount of profit, and for them to be able to do so, they have to raise the price of a product. All of this can of course also happen in the opposite direction. Imagine the same crepe company decides to buy their milk from a different company. This company sells milk to them for $10 less. This means that the cost of production for one crepe and the final price for one crepe can fall by 10 cents each. Okay ladies and gentlemen, before we head into the break I would like to sum up what we have just talked about. Price can be influenced by the factors of production. This is because the three different types of factors of production have a cost to themselves. The example I gave before was the cost of milk used to make crepe changes. This leads to a change in price. Because the producers are either needing to make a certain profit, or they are able to reduce the price because one of the factors of production becomes cheaper. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Kim, and we will see each other again after this short break.